Good morning, everyone. It's uh, 8.56, and this is your pre-opening comment. I'm going to kind of rush right through this. Uh, Asia was mixed. Europe was lower. Oil was up gold is down, <clears throat> but uh, what we had this morning were retail sales and PPI, and the numbers were just absolutely explosive. Retail sales up 5.3% versus a 1.2% expected. PPI, producer price index, 1.2 versus 0.2. Um, and uh, um, this is just, these are amazingly high numbers. Um, what's interesting about it, though, you can see the chart on the screen is the gold that with inflation, obviously here, uh, gold moved lower on the news as opposed to what you would expect. Uh, big inflation, use a hedge. Um, I'm, I'd be surprised if Bitcoin is replacing uh, gold, but the fact is, Bitcoin's up again, 2400 and gold is down again, $23, uh, and that's after yesterday's big decline. Okay, Berkshire Hathaway adds to Verizon and CVX trims a little Apple. SpaceX uh, raised $850 million overnight, uh, and that brings uh, valuation. They did it at a valuation of $74 billion. Uh, the New York Attorney General is suing Amazon. They, they say that Amazon did not uh, adequately protect their people in the pandemic. You know, uh, I, have, I can't even comment on that. That's probably one of the more ridiculous things that I've seen. Not that they did or didn't protect them, but the Attorney General of New York is suing them over it. Anyway, uh, third point added to in, uh, Intel and Alphabet. Uh, Rio Tinto beat top and bottom, declared a special dividend. Uh, I haven't said what it is. The stock was uh, 87.63 when the news came got as high as 91.64, last was 90.19, up 205, or 2.3%. Comstock Mining, uh, symbol L-O-D-E, uh, Comstock uh, bought a lithium recycling business. Um, uh, it must be one hell of a business. The stock is 859, up 626, 263%. And uh, Clips, C L P S, uh, which is an IT firm, got a contract with an unnamed payment platform. Again, must be a hell of a contract. 1014, up 533, or 111%. And that was after trading at 13. 1988. And uh, E-Bang, E-B-O-N, was up yesterday, was up the day before, and is up, <clears throat> excuse me, another 20% today. They have come out, and they, I mean, I mentioned this last night, but there was no news. Now they come out, and they are going into, guess what? Bitcoin mining business. So uh, the stock had a range of 559 to 1057. The last is 990 up a dollar 70. So that one at least is not an absolute runaway. As I mentioned here, gold down pretty hard. Uh, oil continues to move up. Let me see where we are here. Uh, the oil, 6079. Uh, up 74 cents. Uh, another new high. Yesterday's high was. Uh, just under 61 today's is just over 61 and 6126 last though is uh 6079 uh, this is a nice range uh, i mean this is uh almost a two dollar range from the low of 59.51 to the high uh net gas is uh, basically unchanged uh it's been it was down this morning as low as just under 305. Now it's back to 313.80, which is 314. So that's pretty decent. As I mentioned, gold down. Silver is down a little. Uh, 
Platinum is uh, taking it on the chin here a little bit. In last night's comment, I mentioned that one uh, only because it closed so much closer to the low than the high. I said it looked like it was going to pull back, and here we are. Uh, let's take a look at the chart, though, and see how far it needs to pull back or where the major support is. Okay, so this is the weekly. Let's go to the daily. And let's go to nine months. Okay, so uh, the low here is 12.20. We're currently 12.48. Uh, could we come back to the round number? Absolutely. Uh, but there is good support in here. And uh, 11.90 to 11.95 would probably stop it since that was the most recent important breakout after the obviously the obvious breakout here, this uh, $42 day to the upside on the 28th of, the, of February. Uh, so that's about it. Um, the futures are showing uh, the S&P down about 10, uh, the Dow down about uh, 45, and the NASDAQ, let's see, NASDAQ down about 80. So have a good morning, everyone. Keep the position sizes appropriate. If you have an interest in futures, please get to me. If it's not obvious, I mean, I've been talking about this for nine months, but at this point, it should be pretty obvious that uh, we do have inflation and we are going to have rising commodity costs. So uh, get to me and uh, let me know that you're interested. I'll send you a packet of information and uh, I will be back this afternoon.